Okay, folks, so this week's course is Fort Belvoir Golf Course in Alexandria, Fort Belvoir, Virginia. It's certainly Fort Belvoir Army Base in South Alexandria, I'll say, Virginia. Now, the reason I chose this course is I know it's a course that I've played and reviewed once already, but it has been, oh, quite a few years, maybe three years since I last played it. And since then, as I had my debacle at uh, Potomac Shores a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to try to play another course that was similar, but not the same course. Number one, because I didn't want to deal with the car path only, mandatory car path only at, at Potomac Shores. And second, because I hadn't played this course in a while and I wanted to just go try it out. It's another one of those courses, which is a you know, narrow woods course. And it had been a while. Again, I could see you know, what the changes were in my game. And again, it was a good challenge, but not ridiculously difficult or expensive. So of course, I get down there after dealing with all the security stuff to get in. And of course, it was car path only that day. And the Gunston course and the Woodlawn course behind this army museum construction you go down there, they have this nice, big, glass-paneled monstrosity of, an, of a building. It looks like it could be any office building. Very gray, very uh, functional-looking place. And they have taken away four of the holes off of the old Gunston course. And they have taken a couple holes off of Woodlawn, put them on Gunston, split a couple of the holes in half to make four holes out of two, and also added another hole on the back of Woodlawn. So I'm gonna look at the new Gunston and basically review it. So what happened essentially with the, the new Gunston is it starts where number one of the old Woodlawn was, plays the first hole, then comes back on what was number nine for the old Woodlawn. That has been split in half so it is much more sensible in, in, the, in the overall sense for the vast majority of golfers because the old hole was just, I think, a bit too much for almost everyone and make it into something that makes sense. It went from like a, a 12 on the scale of difficulty out of 10 to two sevens, maybe. Three other holes have been split. One has been shortened and certainly at least 10 to 15 slope points have been taken off the course. It's now a significantly different course. Somewhat easier, but not a lot. It used to be about a 135, 140 course uh, from the back tees. And now I would say it's about 125. It's not a lot easier. It's just somewhat easier. But overall, probably much more in tune with the general population. So overall, in a sense, it is a, a, an interesting course. It's certainly a challenging course. It's definitely got verticality. It's got slope um, across the fairways, left to right. There are quite a few dog legs. There are quite a few S-shaped holes. You've got a lot of verticality up to the green, elevated greens. Um, that all, whole aspect of Gunston is still there. There are definitely some holes that have been taken out of the course that, I, that will be sorely missed. And I'm glad that I played him, you know, but in the overall sense, it's okay. The South Course at Andrews is not as tough, I think, as Gunston is at Fort Belvoir. It's a different type of course. It's just a much more open kind of course, a lot more wind, and wind is a different animal to play with than trees. There's the, the one thing about this course that really stands out is there's the number of trees on this course and the narrowness of some of the shots compared to the length. And it really is a good challenge of golf in terms of your being able to control your ball. Because you just need to be off by a couple of degrees, maybe five degrees left to right, and you're in the trees on, on a lot of the tee shots. Uh, so, whereas playing in the south course at Andrews, because it's so open, most of it's so open, it's more a matter of, if you play a fade versus a draw, or if you accidentally hit a fade, that's a whole different shot because not only do you lose distance on the cut, but it's gonna cut a lot more in the wind than it normally does. And you can hit balls that look like they were really nice, or you can try to steer a ball that looks like it's going to a nice direction. And the next thing you know, it's 45 degrees off to the right. 
and in the water or in the waste or something. So it's a very different game of golf to play in an open course than to play one where the, the wind is, is more or less blocked by the trees. So uh, the South Course Andrews is much more of an open course, very open course, and the um, courses at Fort Belvoir are more um, wooded course. They're not completely blocked from the wind, but they're much more wooded and protected. Definitely a, two different types of courses. So I would like to raise a glass and toast to the old Gunston, while at the same time saying that I could accept the changes that have made with the new Gunston. It's, it's basically, number one, can you get on the course, which you need to know how to get on the course, and that is not a very simple, straightforward thing to do. You have to go to the Thule Gate there at Fort Belvoir and tell them you're going to play golf. Then they have to give you a visitor's pass. And then you can go to the course. It's not as simple as just driving to the course or calling up and making a tee time. There's some um, minor security involved. And then the other thing is you have to get a tee time, which is not very easy in good weather because both of those courses are always busy in good weather. They only really calm down in the winter when it gets really cold, like 40, 30 degrees, then they might not quite be so busy. <sighs> we don't want to always make things neat and tidy all the time. It takes out some of the fun. Anyway, so that's uh, my short review of the new Gunston Golf Course at Fort Belvoir, Virginia. It isn't quite as good now as it used to be, it's still a pretty good course. It's still a good challenge of golf. It has some new features that it didn't have before, some shorter holes that have some interesting aspects compared to the longer, tougher holes. While that has its, its own benefit, having long, tough holes, having short, tough holes also has its own benefit, and it, it does have a good mixture of all of that now. It's still quite a good course. And I'm gonna give it a B plus because it isn't mandatory cart path for six months, as opposed to the spot cart path only because it rained for the past two days and the course is wet in places. So a solid B plus I will give it, even though it's not quite the awesome course that it used to be. It's still a very good course. That's Gunston Golf Course at Fort Belvoir, Virginia.